Hello viewers, welcome to Pathology Discussion Forum and today in this vlog I will be talking about hematopoiesis. Now what is hematopoiesis? Hematopoiesis is the process of formation of the blood cells. Hemato means blood and poiesis means production. That means hematopoiesis is the process for production of blood corpuscles or blood cells. Now this process of hematopoiesis it is comprised of three individual processes like erythropoiesis, myelopoiesis and megakaryopoiesis. Now let's see what these processes are. Erythropoiesis is the process for formation of red blood corpuscles or erythrocyte. Erythrocytes are produced that's why this process is known as erythropoiesis. Now what is myelopoiesis? Myelopoiesis is the production of WBC or the white blood corpuscles. So myelopoiesis deals with production of WBC or white blood corpuscles and what is megakaryopoiesis? Megakaryopoiesis is the production of platelets. So the process for production of all these three that means RBC, WBC and platelets. Individually these processes are erythropoiesis, myelopoiesis and megakaryopoiesis and these three processes they comprise of hematopoiesis that means production of blood. Now let us talk about the sites for hematopoiesis. After conception up to 3 to 4 weeks there is no evidence of hematopoiesis. The first evidence of hematopoiesis that usually detected that is uh, the yolk sac. It is around 3 to 4 weeks the first hematopoietic elements are identified in the area of yolk sac. But this is not uh, this is not a definitive hematopoiesis. The first definitive hematopoiesis that occurs in the AGM region of embryo and this AGM, this AGM stands for the aorta gonad mesonephrus. So in the aorta gonad mesonephrus region of embryo, the first definitive hematopoiesis they appears and this form of definitive hematopoiesis. This is seen in the dorsal wall of aorta and these are the primitive hematopoietic cells and these cells are capable of forming the blood elements as well as the endothelial lining. So these cells are multipotent cells and these cells they are supported by the surrounding cells in the uh, in the surrounding region of the dorsal wall of aorta and these supporting cells they very much support the process of hematopoiesis. So the definitive evidence of hematopoiesis that is noted in the AGM region. Now these hematopoietic cells they gradually move towards different organs like liver and spleen. Now this liver and spleen these are the organs which are the primary sites for hematopoiesis and these two organs they remain the primary sites for hematopoiesis up to six months of gestation. So let, let's recapitulate the first evidence of hematopoiesis that appears in the region of York sac. Next, the definitive place for hematopoiesis that is the AGM region. In the AGM region, in the, vent, in the dorsal wall of aorta, these multipotent cells regulate the process of hematopoiesis and gradually these cells, they gradually move towards liver and spleen. Now, the liver and the spleen, they become the primary organ for hematopoiesis and these two organs, they remain the primary organ for hematopoiesis up to six months of gestations. Now, after six months, gradually the process of hematopoiesis, it usually moves towards the bone marrow. Now, the bone marrow that is situated within the marrow cavity of the bones during birth, all the bones of the body that are capable of making hematopoietic cells that are capable of making the blood cells. Now, uh, 
after that after that gradually the process of hematopoiesis that remains confined to the axial skeletons like the uh, hip bone the uh, bones of the vertebra the ribs the skull bones and the proximal parts of the humerus and femur these are the main sites for hematopoiesis in adult human in adult human there is presence of the hematopoietic elements within bone marrow and the remaining part of the marrow that comprise of the yellow fatty tissue so during birth all the bones of the body these bones are capable of forming blood elements but as a person ages only the axial skeletons are capable of making blood cells now in the bone marrow in an in case of adults the ratio of the hematopoietic cells and the fatty tissue that varies according to the age now let's talk about a term that is the extramedullary hematopoiesis now what is extramedullary hematopoiesis now extramedullary means outside bone marrow this process that usually occurs in case of hemolytic anemia now what is hemolytic anemia hemolytic is the process of destruction of the rbc and it may be due to some antibody it may be due to some red cell membrane or any enzyme defects there are a lot of causes of hemolytic anemia now what what is common in uh, all of them that is there is increased requirement for production of red cells so there is an increased requirement and as there is an increased requirement so the process of hematopoiesis that usually expands from the bone marrow to the to some other organs like liver and spleen along with them also extramedullary hematopoiesis can occur in lymph nodes so when there is an increase in the production for red cells due to rapid destruction in the circulation or some other places so there is an increased need for production of red cells and in that case the organs like liver spleen or lymph node they starts to produce red cells or the hematopoietic cells uh, so this process of production of uh, blood elements outside bone marrow that is known as extra medullary hematopoiesis okay okay that's it for now if you are new to our channel then don't forget to subscribe to get our videos instantly and if you like this video then don't forget to hit the like button and also you can share this video with your friends okay that's it.